<laughs> that reminds me, I need to uh, just set up sound effects. Hello there, everybody. I'm the Dual Lag. Today we'll be playing some Dual Logs. Thanks for the resubscribe, Daddy Steel. Uh, oh, TMI. I'm not gonna read that. Um, let's see here. Who did we miss? Uh, knife is lurking. Oh. <gasps> Will we see you play Sword Soul Tenyi tonight? It is certain. Nope. Everything will come your way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's time to get bullied by DPE. What? What's up? Oh, hey there. I was just watching some animes. Let me see what my daily daily achievements are activate a trap card in ranked normal summon a monster in ranked duel in solo mode I hate this one destroy a card in ranked so I think I can do all of those with my 10 ye deck but we're not playing 10 years today we're playing cybernetic successor I just did my research on it what about a mythical wrath panel pot of desires meal deck um, I mean, that is incredibly convoluted. Here's the thing. Mythical Ref Panel gives you the effect of the card, not the cost. And it redirects your opponent's effects to... Actually, can it redirect your effects to your opponent, too? I think it does. Um, so if you used it with Pot of Desires, you would still have to pay the cost, but then you would give your opponent the effect of drawing two cards. Or, if you gave them Pot of Desires and they used it, they could banish ten, and then you could use Mythical Rare Panel to draw two cards instead of your opponent. Either way, it's not worth it. Mmm, <clears throat> use the face cam? Spider time? Mmm, okay. It's spider time. Dude, I am so tired right now. All of a sudden, I don't know why. It's probably because I've been working all day. Who would have guessed? Is there an Arcana Force Numeron deck? Nope. Spider. Wanted to say thanks for all the content. Mr. Dual Logs, Dual Logs, the Duelist from the Dual Logs, Dual Vlogs. You know, I see comments sometimes on my VOD videos, the clips, where they say, Hey, I like this channel more than the main channel. And I think, oh, oh, oh. should I be insulted or incredibly uh, complimented? Because the main channel is full of very high effort work, and the clips are not that. However... If the clips can reach the same level of likability as the high effort content, isn't that a good thing? That sounds like a good thing. Ultimate Insect DPE. Oh, did you guys see the emotes I was working on? Thanks. Ooh, that's a Mogu emote. I asked Mogu, uh, half jokingly, I was like, can you make a, a money spider emote for me? And um, before she was able to reply, I made it myself. Although no one has access to it. You see, there's emotes that you gain access to when you donate bits. And I just put my leftovers in there. So what I did was I created um, whale and money themed ones for them because I thought that was appropriate. They're not as high quality as the normal emotes because I just drew them with my... Uh, with my pixel art program. But I thought that was more appropriate than whatever I had before. Hi, Duologs. Hello there, Phoebe Desus. Where's the spider? 
I turned them on, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to turn them on. <laughs> what is Ultimate Insect Level 7? Does it work like Arm Dragon Level 7 cards? It sure does. It's like worse though. They couldn't afford DPE? Oh, yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? It's all good. I mean, I'm running an Ultimate Insect deck, so uh, I'll probably win. Is that Doug Dimidone? Dismail Dimidone? What are you guys talking about? Mm, do heroes now have that oh so popular D hero? They do! They have DPE! When does the mode get here? Oh, I added it um, today. <laughs> While I was setting up the, the pay to win emotes. So, did you guys see that there was an update to Master Duel today? Crazy, right? Apparently they added some new cards to the game. You tell me more, Mr. Streamer. Indubitably? No, no really? I know, right? No block spider for stall? Oh, uh, block spider is garbage. I'm already playing a garbage engine. I need good stuff to supplement it. It's not 10 e-logs. It was yesterday. No, it was today. Just like early in the morning. Or wait, that was really late at night yesterday. Wasn't it? I don't remember. I was watching Mini stream and then she like, she was playing Duel Links and then she went to switch over to Master Duel when the update was done. I was like, oh, I didn't know the cards were going out yesterday. Like I've been working on the game show for like the past two days. So my eyes are, oh, I should put on the visors for this. My eyes are bleeding from all of the work. I have to create so many assets. And then of course the questions. It's all almost done. I just have a little bit more left to do. I should be able to finish up everything tomorrow and then the actual game show is on Wednesday. And then once it's set up I won't have to work as hard for the next one. Ultimate Insect? Yeah! You know, he'll come out eventually. The game show, yeah! I mean, theoretically, Magellan plus Salon could do it. What are you guys talking about? Unlock the feat when Adventure comes in. Can you put that into every deck you've made, Duel Logs? I sure will. I'll do my best to put it in all of my decks. Oh my god, is he still doing his turn? What is he going into? I don't know. I feel as though he's just clicking buttons because his board after comboing for five minutes is garbage. He's taking his time. He's locked into Dark Heroes. <laughs> he's gonna go into Adoration. Those punk cards look interesting, I wonder if they're good. I should read them. Last time I read the punk cards is like when they first were announced. So I've already forgotten everything about them other than the fact that... Uh, most of them are psychic type. <laughs> Whoa! Vision Hero Trinity going first? He has 5,000 attack points! The funny thing is he could probably win with this board. Cause I drew garbage. I got nothing. I need to draw into my my hand trap. C Come on, give me the infestation card. Oh, that's good. Okay. This might help destroy all attack positions your opponent controls. I have 37k points. What should I spend it on? 
Um, spend it on whatever you want. Save for the ASMR. What you should spend it on is nothing. There is no need to redeem any of the channel points ever. Dark Law with its 1800 defense points. If only I had a monster with 2000 attack in my hand. I do. Shiny Black Sea Squadron. <gasps> he actually would have been more dangerous if he was in attack position. Wait, that doesn't affect defense points, right? Yeah, it's only attack points. Woof! I will attack the moon. Let me just put up the dual log. Lightning Storm has an animation? Yeah, they added it with the last update. Didn't play around Maxi. I know, right? He didn't play around the shiny Black Sea Squadron. A hero lives? Oh my god, he drew another one? Out of the Dark Law. <laughs> I did. With my 2000 attack vanilla monster. I really wish I had drawn some more playable plays though. Time for Phoenix? There's no way he can screw up his combos now. Yeah, he has another one. I just noticed there's new prediction badges, is there? I don't know how predictions work to be honest. I vaguely know how they work and that's probably how exactly they work, but I've never really looked into it. Would you craft Ash 2 to 3? Max 2 to 3? Or Nibiru 1 first? You can get Nibiru from a secret pack. Plus you can get one copy of Ash Blossom from the the bundle. So you only need to craft two more if you want to run three copies. Whoa. Straight into Dark Law. He doesn't know that I got nothing. I got some bugs that don't proc if they're banished. Isn't Nibiru getting a bundle too? It was data mine to maybe be getting a bundle. <gasps> Giant ballpark? I don't think this works under Dark Law. <laughs> Yeah. I can attack uh, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. <clears throat> I could deal with the first Dark Law, but not the second Dark Law. Bummer. Stop playing with Toggle on? No. Drop it bundle just means 10 UR dust. Would you like to activate the effect of Giant Ballpark? No, why didn't they use Honesty Neos? Fuck all you guys! Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! I didn't know Dulong's got his own card in game. I don't have a card in game. Do you mean Ultimate Insect level 7? Okay, so I'm probably dead. I don't think Giant Ballpark procs. The monster you control sent to the grave by opponent's card effect. Then, if you send a normal monster this way, you can special summon any number of monsters with the same name as that monster from your hand deck or graveyard. I finally returned to the Master Duel event after the XYZ event. In my first duel, I got ashed to my hand and my opponent just surrendered. They surrendered after one ash? Are you ham boned, Mr. Logs? Oh. Uh, maybe. Let's see how they, they go from here. 
I can still come back if I just draw that one card from my deck that allows me to equip it to my opponent's Dark Law and then send it to the graveyard to bring out my own ultimate insect queen. Are there any good um, equip cards in the game I could run that you can equip from your hand to your opponent's cards? <laughs> Is it just that one card? No? Unless he summons another monster, I'm good to go. Oh no, he can use Honesty Neos for 2500. That's more than enough. With 300 overkill, if I'm doing my math correctly. Oh no, just 100 overkill, I was wrong. Thanks for the sub, Carlos23. Oh, no rewards? The Axe of Fools? I have Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. But I can't use it unless I can equip a monster, and I can't equip a monster unless I'm able to do my plays, which I can't do under Dark Law. I mean, I think I just kind of lost to the Dark Law, and that's it. There's no point in uh, looking too hard about it. Most decks lose to Dark Law. You could have won if you had the DPE engine. Did you see my deck? <laughs> Humongous. You already have DPE? Of course I do. Imagine not having DPE. La cringe. Another hero deck? That immediately gets Dark Law? Oh dang, they're just going straight into it. Oh, Liga's emote finally got approved. Bee Trooper? No, they don't have Bee Troopers in the game yet. This is something better than Bee Troopers. Oh, is that a gun emote? How did she get that approved? Dude, I have seen like maybe one or two hero decks before today, and now I've just seen two hero decks back to back. Hopefully this guy doesn't take forever to do his turn for a garbage board. Lots of people have gun emotes. Do they? You mean I could have had a gun emote this whole time? She somehow did? I don't know. Let me see. I have a sub to her channel. Um, oh, it's just those two. Whoa, a bullet. Okay, so we have Destiny Hero Malicious into a Destiny Hero Malicious. They normal summoned Vion. What? Are they going to go into Isolde? Oh, Anaconda. Of course, that lets me go into DPE. The dungeon... Dragon, the Destiny Hero, um, dude, the Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer, and he was nice enough to put them all in attack position for me. Can monster quick effects chain to quick play spells? Yep. Oh no, anyways, then I started blasting. Is Duologs using new cards? I sure is. <gasps> He's gonna chain the effect of Destiny Hero Destroy Your Phoenix Enforcer in order to destroy one card he controls plus one other card on the field. Do you think he'll destroy an artifact scythe? Amateur.
Connection failed. A win's a win. Um, let me also add in one of these. And also... Should I add in a Super Poly 2 with all of these Phoenix Enforcers going around? <laughs> no, I don't want to mess up my extra deck. I don't really use the extra deck. So I guess I could, right? But then I have to... I guess I'll remove Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth for the Raigeki. Are there any other Raigeki-like cards in the game, or is it just Lightning Storm? Do you need three Link Spiders? Yeah. Ooh, Triple Tactics Talent. That's a good one. Corrosive Scales. I love this card, but it's garbage. I love Save Zone, but it's also garbage. Oh, I just noticed something. I'm not playing uh, two called buys. Hmm. Let me remove two of these. Do you need to play two DPEs? Yeah. Are you going to try the new Tenyu meta? No. I'm playing Ultimate Insect level 7 today. A lot of extravagance. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm having two of them. I, I had three of them, but I needed room for other cards. My friend introduced me to your content this week, so I've been binging your content on YouTube. Ironically, watching your Exodia stall right now. Thanks for the great content. Why, thank you, Prinus. Prinus. I should give a warning. I am very tired right now. <laughs> I'm usually monotone, but I'm not usually this monotone. I built a Rose Dragon deck and it's bad. She probably didn't build it correctly. Oh, my eyes. Oh my god, Card of Demise is so broken. Stun cringe. Haha, uh -huh, he lost Patchy Cephalo. Mmm, Parent Sight Paranoid. Cool. Six cards. What's he gonna do? Activate Solemn? Um, we can do this. Send that and that. Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Ooh, his attack goes down to 1,600. Oh no, does he, is he gonna have some stun card to protect his cards and my cards? Of course. I'll use Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. <gasps> oh no, it got negated! With an infinite impermanence, now this zone right here is completely worthless. Okay, skill drain. Oh no, all of our effects are negated at the moment. Whatever am I going to do? And I think that's my one effect for the turn, so I'll just set Goki Pole. And then pass. And then I'll use his effect on my opponent's turn, unless he returns it to my deck, of course. In which case, I will do no such thing. I got jebated, and now that we don't have any cards on the field, I can't activate any effects. Oh no, I can't search. Oh well. I play three lightning storms and a Raigeki. I have an out. Wait, how did you get jebated, Millie? What happened? I don't know what you're in referencing to. Damn it, this triple tactics talent's gonna be useless in hand. Fun? Yeah. 
It is fun when I play these decks. Not when I play against them and I don't have the out immediately. We can't win without back row. The new Imperm makes everyone will not forget the Imperm column. Ooh. Macro Cosmos. Let's see if he has a Solemn ready. Destroy all spell traps. There it is. There's one of three. Wait for removal? That is my only removal. I can't do shiznit right now. Wait, so he had that the whole time. He had that face down since the beginning. Little old man. Well, I have more cards. Not being able to use my monster effects. My floating effects is uh, annoying though. This deck can play around a lot of the cards he uses. I just need to be able to use my damn effects. How did you get the tatami mat? I don't remember. I think I got it from a solo mission. Oh look, VIP is back. What are you guys talking about? Become VIP? Oh, I missed that. Okay, so I'm just waiting to draw another out. Hope he doesn't have another solemn judgment and then I can't do any plays afterwards. Uh-oh, Thunder King Ra'io. This is winnable? Yeah, it's just gonna be annoying. Giant ballpark. That can protect me for a little bit. I'm just gonna quit out. Why are you saving Parasite? Because I can use it as removal, but I can't use any monster effects because of his card. Wait, what did I remove? I had three cards. Oh wait, I can't edit the accessories from this page. More like Thunder King, uh-oh. Yeah, Thunder King, uh-oh. One second. Let me turn uh, this person into a VIP face cam. <gasps> right, let me turn that off. So thanks for the sub, Felax Rises. You've added Sir Kalion as a thing of this channel. Neat. Man, what are the chances that I'm constantly going against people who like just don't let me use my graveyard effects? That's usually one of the few places that I'm totally able to use my stuff. I haven't been able to resolve Goki Pull once against my last three opponents. No, you don't. Okay, he's on for one duel. I have 10.5k channel points. What are you gonna do with your channel points? Nothing. You should have added Duster. I have three lightning storms. I don't need Duster with that. Ooh. That's right, they added uh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. That means his face down cards are now protected. Why didn't he destroy my shit? I'm gonna have to proc my own cards. Heavenly's in the game? Yeah. If you thought Eldritch was annoying before, oh baby, you haven't even seen the beginning of it. I need that Game of Thrones lore. Maximum C. <gasps> 
Yay! Take control of one of your opponent's monsters. What monster does he have? Dark Lord, Capricious Dark Lord? That's it? That's nothing. Uh, can I go into Union Carrier? I don't think so, but I can go into Preta Plant, Verte, Anaconda. Yeah! I haven't at least uh, protected face up back row, so that's good. Heavenly at least doesn't protect face up. Oh, yeah, it doesn't protect floodgates, but it does protect face down cards. Which is even better. Would you like to special summon to the field? Um, sure, why not? I know he has max C. Destroy a card? No. Are you crazy? Of course not. Ooh, I can go into something else. I can go into Union Carrier. One second. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to go into DPE and then attack. Okay. We'll send Fusion Destiny. And a can to Infinite Impermanence. Ooh, I got impermed. Uh, then cannot special summon for the rest of the turn. Okay. The Iris Sword Soul. Do the main phase. Monster effect on the field is activated. Oh no, now he's going to activate Heavenly Prison as well. You doing DPE shenanigans? Whoa, that card looks cool. What does the Iris Sword Soul do? Um, during the main phase, a monster whose effect is negated is on the field. Special summon this card from your hand. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can activate one of these effects based on where it was from. Hand, special summon, deck, draw two cards. Extract, destroy one of those monsters on the field. Whoa, that one has a, a mechanic too. Ooh, okay. Luckily, his effects was negated, so I can just go into something else. Mm, I need to convert Squatter into an effect monster. And the best way to do that... Is to go into Pico Flaina. Destroy one of those special monsters from the extra deck. You only use each of these effects once per turn. Oh, if I go into something, she's just gonna destroy it. Ooh, that's devious. I can special summon Maxi. Um, if I don't do anything, then I'm dead as well. So, what I'm going to do is look down to Pico Flina. Sword Soul just destroyed if you summon from the extra deck. But yeah, I mean, where else am I going to summon from? What Link 4s do I have in here? Uh, Borolode Savage Dragon. I don't have access code? Thought I did. An Underworld Goddess. destroy one of those special summon monsters oh uh, how come I wasn't able to use its effect <laughs> oh because I didn't have another insect type monster okay I gotcha I thought you were better than trying some DPE still my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh only player I watch thanks for the resubscribe I cult and also patch of days Who's your only Yu-Gi-Oh player that you watch? Is it Hard Leg Gaming from Hard Leg Gaming channel? So happy to catch a live stream question mark? Well, do I got some good news for you? Actually, no, I don't. Um, let's see here. I was going to add a card to my deck, but I forgot what it was. Was it Resonant Insect? No. Was it Confronting the Sea? Yeah. 
No, Retaliating C. That's the card I was going to add. Okay, so with Retaliating C, we have this. We have Goki Pull. I have Parasite Paranoid. I have the Cocoon of the Ultra Evolution, which I don't have a searcher for, and then Giant Ballpark, and then my Ultimate Insects. So my main strategy is to get Insect Queen on the field, which I can accomplish if I use Resin and add it to my hand, and then I use um, Super Team Buddy Squad. Super Team Buddy Force. Is that how you spell buddy? Yeah, Super Team Buddy Force. And then also the Cocoon. And then Res on. Res. Re, resonance Insect. Okay, we have Resident Insect. Giant Ballpark. What deck uses Ready Fusion? Mm hmm. What's Ready Fusion? Oh, like anything. It's just a good card to get a card on the field. Hell, I could use it. Are there any insect type fusion monsters? Fusion. That are level 6 or lower. Oh, there's one. <laughs> there's one card I could play. Is your second DP ever going to come out? It will now. <laughs> let me remove this. No, wait. Let me put that back in. I'm sorry, Nibiru. I didn't mean it. And then I'm going to remove the giant ballpark engine. I don't need it. And then I'm going to remove Monster Reborn. I'll remove Extravagance. Because I'm going to use my extra deck. And then I will remove my Triple Tactics talent. And then I will also craft these cards. Generate. <gasps> there we go. The Ultimate Insect Beatdown. This should be all I need in order. Oh, I need to change my accessories too. I forgot what this third one was. Mm. Hmm. What encompasses this deck? Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer, of course. It's even better now. Exactly. The ultimate insect. Four DPE bricks or four DPE opportunities. Hi, Mr. Top 10. Hello there, Vertigo87. Or Vortgurn. Playing two Celestials and Dasters? Yeah. Yeah, it's even better now. DPE wins you games against control matchups. Oh my god, I drew my one my one goddamn card. Oh <gasps> But I also drew two levels up. I can level up Ultimate Insect all the way to level seven immediately. Ultimate Insect number two. Oh my god, I bet you guys weren't expecting this. Holy moly, what a hand. I know, right? Immediately to Ultimate Insect level 7. He wasn't summoned properly, though, so he doesn't actually do anything. He's just a 2600 attack beat stick. You fool. I wanted that card in the graveyard. So I could use its graveyard effect in order to draw a card. You fool. This is stronger than the card I had. <laughs> <laughs> By a hundred points. <laughs> hey, thanks for the upgrade, idiot. <gasps> Numerons. Oh, I thought that was the Despion one for a second. Okay, well, I lost. Hmm. 
Wait, are there any trap cards that equip to my opponent's cards? Fog Blade equips to my opponent's cards, right? Fog Blade. Activate by targeting one effect monster on the field, negate that monster's effect that is face up on the field. Also, that monster cannot target face up monsters on the field. I don't think that counts as an equip. With an equip card. Let me see. Equip. It has to specifically say equip. So these are equip cards. I need ones that can equip to my opponent though. And also change them to the insect attribute. Insect type, not attribute. I don't know why I said that. Let me remove my yellow shades. Sort by rarity. I see armor recall. Add an equip spell card from your deck to your hand, then you equip it to one appropriate monster you control. Hmm, I see. What does Ultimate Insect do? It lowers the attack of all my opponent's monsters by 700 points. Target one phase up monster your opponent controls. Equip this card to that target. It gains 500 attack and defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard, because the equipped monster has left the field, draw one card. And if you activate this turn, draw two cards and discard one. Instead, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think any of these change my opponent's type to insect. So none of them are actually going to do what I th or what I want them to do. Unless one of them steals my opponent's card. Target one amazement, or if I'm able to change them to insect type. Let's see, insect. Isn't there a parasite card that equips? There sure is. Target one insect type monster you control. Equip this card to it while you control the equipped card. Maybe I just have to rely on paranite, parasite paranoid and just draw into it. Is it comic hand time? No, comic hand won't work. Okay, so instead what I need to do is rely on just equipping my own cards, I guess. So, again, let's see, equip. Uh, are there any really good cards you can equip to yourself that have an immediate effect? There's Rocket Hand, but no, that's not good enough. The answer to this question is no, not really. There's no way to do equips without losing advantage. The insect kaiju. Um, I guess you could give your opponent a kaiju and then equip it with something. Uh, equip this card to that target. It's fine for attacking defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster has left the field, draw one card. Or if you activate this turn, draw two cards instead, then discard one. You'll activate one revenge rally. I guess revenge rally would work if you gave it to your opponent with a kaiju, but that seems really convoluted for no real gains. No real meaningful gains. I think your best bet is just to rely on Parasite Paranoid, which you can search with Goki Pole and Retaliating Seat. So if I just like aim the deck more in that direction, where if I play two of those and then I change my deck around to take advantage of this card a little bit more with like a, uh, a Ballista Squad. And then I, I have a deck that does this really well. Let me see. Hmm. Someone's got the MJ emote. Nice. Gamble, Cosmo, Kaiji, Baha oh, Bahalatia Insects. This one does what I'm trying to do really well. This one is a search machine. And all it uses is Ballista Squad? How does it special summon the monsters? It also has the Kaijus, which are really good going second cards. And then there's Bahalatia, which can disrupt hand plays but it doesn't do that very well wait how does it go into the zodiacs 
uh, with two level fours on the field, and it also uses giant ballpark and monster gate. That can be normal summoner set and special summon it. Also send the rest of the excavated cards to the graveyard. Hmm, monster gate, huh? Okay. Um, if I send the other bugs to the graveyard, then I can use them as fuel. So, here's my plan. Monster gate. Uh-huh, where's... why... what the fuck? I typed in the name exactly. Why are you giving me all these fucking cards? I mean, freaking cards? I didn't mean to say bad word. Where the f Where the frick is Monster Gate? Are you kidding me? Why does it do this? Monster Gate, which is not banned. And then we have Ballista Squad, Monster Gate. Okay, if we're gonna play Monster Gate, we probably can't play DPE. So I'll just remove those cards. I'll leave in the Ultimate Insects. I'll play three copies of Pot of A. I'll play Super Team Buddy Force. And then I'll also play in a Metal Foes. I'll play five Graveyard cards. One Metal Foes Fusion. Actually, I just did this. No cursing, no cursing. Shut up. I can curse all I want. Or hecking heck. Oh, wait. Let me do this for you guys. Someone redeemed an ad time four minutes ago. There you go. I really wish I could add, like, a little notification for channel point redeems. But as far as I know, that is impossible. Ooh, Destrudo. Destrudo. <gasps> Are there any good insect level 7 monsters that are synchro? Synchro... Let me just check insect. I'm pretty sure that is not a thing that exists. Uh, 12, 8, 6, 6, 5, 5, 6, 2. Nope. Don't forget Celestials, Mr. Duologs. Okay. I forgot to remove these. You're right. No Destrudo. I don't want to play Halka combos. Um, let's see here. Zephros. Fairy Tail Snow. Lost Wind. Galaxy Cyclone. Malicious. Absolute King Back Blackjack. Jack. Hmm. Lost Wind. Hmm. Snow. Oh, wait, I said I was only going to play five. Okay. Uh, Cocoon of Evolution is also a graveyard effect. Galaxy. Cyclone. The Destiny Hero Celestials. You think I wouldn't notice? Are there any good insect synchros at all? Yes. However, I can't go into them. Okie dokie. Squadron. We need at least one to destroy shit. We have Retaliating Sea. We have the Ultimate Insects. I'm gonna have to get rid of Level Up, unfortunately. Gotta get rid of this. Uh, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution has a graveyard effect, so it works with this version of the deck. I gotta remove the Raigeki. The Nibiru. Um, Ultimate Insects, I can remove one of those. Ultimate Insect level 3. I guess I can remove that as well. And then we can just call it a day with these cards here. So, batch generate cards that are not owned. Okay, and then we have access code talker. And, um, what else? 
but it's a type changed and top 10 anti-meta youtuber reasoning and grass uh, I don't want to play grass I could play reasoning that would kind of fit with what I'm doing reasoning three copies of reasoning but then I have to remove some other cards what would I remove my deck is already perfect as is. Let's remove one of these. I'll remove two of those. And let's see, we only need one resident insect. We have all of the metamorphous insects. I need pot of A to reset them, or I can use them as fodder in the graveyard. For the big thing, what is the big one called? Insect. The big guy. The doom dozer. All of these juicy insects in the grave will make perfect fodder for the Doom Dozer. No wait, Pico Flena can just reset them. I forgot about Pico Flena. Never mind, I'm sorry, Doom Dozer. I'll add another Metamorphosed Queen because I can actually use this card now. Okay, and then I'll batch generate cards not owned. Ultimate Insect 2.0. You don't need the Link Spiders anymore? True. You forgot Verte? I also don't need all these Link Spiders. So, I guess I can just add in the Nightmares. Night. Nightmare. Nightmare. One, two, three. Good enough. Still waiting on bee troopers? Oh yeah, that would be good. The ultimate insects. I got it now. Maybe Malevolent Sin? Who's Malevolent Sin? Oh, no, I can't go into him. I don't want to go into Xyz monsters ever at this deck. Um, Dark Rebel. Dark Debel has redeemed duel me okay dark d bull let's go for the duel oh my god you've got to be fucking kidding me i drew into shiny black sea squatter again <laughs> this is the third time in a row why do i keep drawing into this card i play one of to be searched from the deck it's a garnet now whatever Hmm. Ow, I hit my knee. Up. Hit my knee. What's the gimmick tonight? <laughs> the fucking garnet I just drew. <laughs> this is my gimmick. <laughs> Brick worlds. What life is there if only to brick? And draw every garnet in your deck. To be fair, I draw a lot of Garnets, but I also draw a lot of not Garnets. I have lots of not Garnets in my deck, too. <laughs> Looks like a really good and consistent deck you've built, Mr. Logs. I know, right? Emergency Teleport. Oh, crap. Man, Ballista Squad would be so good if I had drawn literally any of my other level 4 lower insects in my deck. Like any of them, literally any of them. Where are my level 4 lower insect type monsters in my deck? End phase? What, are you kidding me? They just went to my Hime at the end of their turn? Except for this one. <laughs> oh, I have a graveyard effect. Ooh, Galaxy Cyclone. Oh, that's cool. This is a plus one in card advantage at the very least. I'm not sure why my opponent's not doing anything. I can't really do anything. I can at least get a body on the field to activate Ballista Squad, I guess. Now he can't DPE? Hilarious. He bricked harder than you. It's impossible for them to brick. They can do their whole thing from just like any two cards in their hand. Of course, I have Disruption for that. But they're not even letting me use my Disruption. They're just setting cards and they're not doing anything. 
I've never seen a virtual world deck. They can't brick. They're immune to bricking. Ooh, I can bring out ultimate insect level 7. Or I can not be stupid and just bring out snow. Ooh, Nyan Nyan. I'll just slowly chip away with Sine Black Squadron. I guess I could go into Pico Flina. Two insect monsters, and then I need a third insect type monster in the field to use its effect. Never mind. Shiny Black Sea Beatdown? Yeah, basically. Wait, why am I running three Parasite Paranoids if I'm no longer running the, uh, the other engine? I can remove them from the deck. I don't need them anymore. Cannot attack insects. Also, it's effects that activate. <gasps> Lightning Storm. Destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. Eh, whatever. Hello, fellow Dulogs fan and Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Shout out to those who share Mr. my Mr. Log's enthusiasm for Snorlax. Nobody likes Snorlax more than I. Anyone who says they do is just a pretender. Has sent a virtual world my Hime Nyan Nyan to the graveyard. It's going to activate Quinglong to search and then send a card from their hand to the graveyard. I wanted to say hi to Shen Shen. I wanted to destroy Shen Shen. And then he sends Shichu to the grave. And then he's going to target Nyan Nyan. I wonder if this works. I've been waiting to see this all day. Can I tribute this card in order to destroy this so that he no longer has a target? I don't know if that actually works. Maybe it will still count even though there's no longer a target on the field? Nope. Looks like it does fizzle the effect out. Good. <laughs> oh no. They can still go into nothing because it comes out as a tuner. Oh, they can go into the level 3 XYZ monster. Or they can do that for no reason. Can they do anything if they increase it to six? Nope. Link three? Uh, yeah, I guess they could go into a Link monster, but Virtual Worlds don't really play with Link monsters. Do you know what deck you're gonna run for the Fusion Festival? Yeah. Oh, I can go into Snow? Neat. I'll just set this. I can't do anything. You can go into Bamboozler. What is he doing? I have no idea. Works like Droplet. If you Droplet for two and they only have one monster that time to resolve, it refizzles. Oh my god, that's annoying. Preda Plant Verte Anaconda? <gasps> Are they going to go into DPE? Am I going to get DPE'd? Probably. But they, they removed, they have one of their garnets in the grave. They can't do that. Okay, I need to remove my insect paranoids. My par paranoid insects. And then I'll, um... Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! Hmm, wise words, Pomu. I too wish to go to heck. So, relink. Oh, relink. I'll ditch one of the Pico Flinas, and then we got to set up the dual room. Create a room. Maximum occupancy. Okay, uh, room details, copy room ID. This is for Dark Devil only. Where are you at, Dark Devil? Good to see the spider has no faith in insects. My insects are perfect. You guys just don't understand. Where's DPE? He's in the garbage can where he belongs. Uh, what is your master duel name? What is it? Dark something? Dark DB? Mm. 
Is that you, Dark DE? Or Sinister World? Almost, wrong deck. I'm going to assume you're Dark DE. You're currently in a table with Sinister World. Any chance of building a punk deck? Maybe. Thanks for the sub, Neo Pocky G. I'm not too sure. Is he an insect? Maybe. Finally caught the stream. Hello there, Walkter. Where are you at, Dark D? Oh, you're dueling Sinister World? Did he just start a duel with another person? Yeah, it looks like it. He doesn't know? I mean, he can see the stream. his hand as long as my opponent doesn't open an unbreakable board of bond stars I'll be good to go oh no they have trap tricks and they went first hopefully they don't have a king of heavenly prisons whoa It's trap tricks. They aren't unbreakable. It's not unbreakable, but it is um, not good to go second versus them. Howdy. Hello there. Whoa! How many Royal Flush Trap Tricks cards do they have? Like a million of them? Reasoning and Monster Gate. Yeah, I can use both of them. Yeah, a Royal Sarah. No, Galaxy Cyclone first. Right over here. The first one. The first one's always the best. Hmm. Well, it was alright. Could have been better. Wait, they chose level 1 and actually resolved it correctly? Oh my god, that sucks. <laughs> what the hell, man? That is the only level 1 monster I have in my deck. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, at least there's no way it'll get level 1 again. Fairy Tail Snow! Yay! Oh, I have 7 cards in the grave now. Neato. <laughs> Trap Trick Sarah activates her effect as special summon. I use maximum C. To draw one card from my deck. I can just monster gate my snow. It's not a big deal. How do I beat Lurless decks? Very uh, carefully. Hey, dual logs from the dual logs, dual logs. I've never been able to catch a stream. Too much school stuff, but I just want to hop in and thank you for getting me back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Your sleep plays really helps me sleep better. Excellent. Always good to hear. I'm glad I got other people roped into this dumb game. I mean, this amazing game that I love very much. Can they activate it the turn that it's used? I don't think they can. Let's monster gate. I could just read the card. Uh, if a normal trap tricks monster is out directly from your deck, nope, can't be activated this turn. <gasps> Immediately a bug. Nice. And then I can normal summon another bug. And then I can use the two bugs to go into Pico Flina. Or I can go into Asura the Earth Charmer. That's probably better. Wait, how many bugs do I have in the grave? One. 
a single bug. Well, I'll get three of them in the grave if I go into Pico Flea now. That'll get two of them in the grave, then I can search with both of them. Or I can go into this, target Earth Monster in your graveyard, special summon to a zone this card points to. They have an Earth Monster in the graveyard that I can special summon to a zone that this card points to. Ooh. Do they have an insect in the grave? Oh, that might be an insect. First resident insect, then retaliating C. What are they going to do? Negate retaliating... Actually, I, I want retaliating C's effect to resolve, not resident insects. Oh, thank God. Ash starting to negate. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Um, Max C. And resident insect. Ooh, I can add metamorphosed insect queen. Then I can use Earth Charmer's effect to special summon Mantis to my field. Is Mantis an insect? I don't know. <gasps> it is an insect! Ooh, that means I can go into Palpiteon at the end of the turn. But not yet. First, I'll use this in order to draw another card. We'll select a card to return. Um, Maxi. Goki Pole. Goki Pole's pretty good. Let's go for damage. Hopefully, they don't have maximum mirror force. Alright, thanks for the sub, Nethys. And Gaia the Draconic. Must have missed it. Oh, I have another effect I can use in the grave? I'm sure I do. Let's do this first. Go into Palpatine. Special summon. Add a whole bunch of tokens. For each insect monster uses material, I get a whole of one. One material on it. Palpeleon. I like Palpatine, it's better. When a Link monster is summoned, destroy all monsters in the field that are not linked. Okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. Anyone else disappointed by the Jacker Gentilope mate? What's wrong with the mate? He looks cool. My useless lost win. Well, it's not useless. I can use it against some stuff. Um, if you're in chat, um, what's your name? Dark D Bull. I don't know if you were listening to the stream, but you started dueling someone else, so I left to go do something else while you finished your duel. So as soon as this is over, then we can do a duel. Like Wait, what did he do? Trap Trick Marmelio? Uh I guess I can activate it. Hmm I don't know what card I have on top of my deck, so I don't want to use blackjack until I can confirm. But I guess I can't really confirm, huh? And where is we waiting in the room? Okay. Yes! Activate Black Kabat. Come on, get a trap card. Trap, 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 trap. Oh, hey. Still a card in the grave. Not exactly the one I wanted, though. Uh, is there a reason you don't collaborate with other Yugi tubers very often? Yes, there is a, a excellent reason for that. It's because I hate them all so much. Why else would I... No, I'm just kidding. You gotta remember, um, the reason I don't collaborate them very often is because, like, Yu-Gi-Oh is just one thing I do. It's, uh, it, it's just, like, one of the things I spend all my time doing. I have, I'm, I'm really busy, so I don't really collaborate very often, unless it's something that makes sense for a collaboration. 
like the game show that I'm going to be doing on Wednesday, which will be a perfect opportunity to invite other Yugi tubers onto the stream in order to win prizes. Yugi tubers don't collab with YouTubers very often, that's why. Uh, I'm not a VTuber though, and yeah, they do. I do. You played Dziv the other day? Oh yeah, Dziv was in stream the other day. Well, he wasn't in stream, but he was, you know, on the stream, kind of. Um, I can go into snow, or I can normal summon Goki Pole right in front of Sarah, and then just attack over it, because he only has a thousand attack. This is what I call a Chad power move. I hate Yugi tubers. Lost wind. Uh, I know he has bottomless trap hole over here. Trap tricks Sarah. Uh, normal trap card. Yeah, they can special summon, right? So I can use Maxi here. Why not a D and D collab? I should. That would be fun. Needs to have another Yugi streamer as a special guest. Yeah, like I'm actually gonna have a, a guest on Wednesday. If you can collab with Coder, the Coder Logs, <laughs> with Coder, uh, I can just let you know he's never responded to any of my messages. I don't see that happening. Definitely a VTuber. We'll have a VTuber on on Wednesday. What's the best deck to use Lost Wind? Any deck that mills a lot. <clears throat> so he's very distant. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Are you still looking for a D&D &D writer? You mentioned that a few nights ago. Maybe. I had two people to apply, but I haven't had any uh, scripts finished yet. Okay, um, I kind of need the card on the field. I didn't think they'd have an actual Mirror Force card. Oh, it's still the battle phase. I'll just set Super Team Buddy Force for now. What's the idea behind milling in this deck? It's just, um, to use Monster Gate. I don't really need to mill. So there was one Yugi tuber didn't answer you and he wouldn't reveal it. Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> Ooh, an insect. <gasps> I could use Super Team Buddy Force. I subscribe. For tier months, there's three, three months, let's go. Thanks for the three month Sedona five four three three two. World Visculio. I should let you know, there's lots of people who do respond to my messages too. Not everybody has to talk to everyone. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. They don't have anything else they can do, right? All their attacks are, are, are done. I need to get a monster on the field so that I can go into Metamorphous Insect Queen so that she's immune to bottomless trap hole. You mean to watch his top 10 lists? It's on suggested videos when he's live stream on YouTube. I don't think he watches the lists, but I think he's seen a couple of the videos. Normally, because, like, the thing is, my list videos are not geared towards, like, content creators. Content creators are people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. And they're not my target audience. My target audience is definitely people who do not play a lot. It's more for a casual, newer, returning player crowd. Yeah, you filthy casuals. Ow. Ooh, I can get this card back. Or this card, or this card, or this card. To get under the... Thanks, I get another Super Team Buddy Force from the... Unless I don't have any more in the graveyard. No, I have one. Yes, yeah, Super Team Buddy Force. Would you like to use Fairy Tail Snow? No. Yeah, 
they become suggest me watch them on regular? No, um, YouTube loves to suggest my channel to anyone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why I get tons of views. YouTube suggests my channel to people who don't even play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, my channel is very loved by the algorithm, and I, you know, it's kind of intentional. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if I can super team Buddy Force to get Metamorphosed Insect Queen on the field. Yeah. I can finally avoid that bottomless trap hole. Hopefully they don't have another goddamn stormy mirror force. I mean, gosh dang. <laughs> totally beat the algorithm. Yeah. You too can beat the algorithm with this one little trick. Run the tier 0 spiral deck card, only limited the deck, quick fix, everything else is at 3. Oh, I mean, no, like, there's a whole bunch of cards that are missing from the tier 0 version. It wasn't just the, the spiral main deck monsters, it was a whole bunch of extract monsters. Whoa, look at their full board of trap trick monsters. It'd be a shame if uh, something bad happened to it. Let's see, I have that to activate. Do I have five in the graveyard? I do, otherwise it wouldn't give me the option to activate the effect. So, I can summon Goki Pole. Then, I can go into... Ooh, I can go into Underworld Goddess. <gasps> I can go into Pico Flina. Using these two cards. I'm immune to everything! Activate Pico Flina. Uh, select a card. Yeah, Metaphos Fusion. Select Metamorphosed Insect Queen. And then activate Goki Pole. Then activate Retaliating C. Well, look at all these cards I have. Grave Diggers Trap Hole. They're going to negate the Retaliating C. That's fine. Didn't need that search anyway. Oh, I'm dead though. I only have 600 life points left. Oh, <gasps> Dang it, I was about to make my comeback. I can't believe I lost to the damage of Gravedigger Trap Hole. Who does that? Okay, there you are, Dark D. Can you sing Megalovania again? No! <laughs> Did you think we would have forgotten? Did you think we would forgive? Death to the living and death to the forsaken. Man, I didn't draw shit. <laughs> Do you think even the worst of us can change? Do you think you can be a better person if you just try? <laughs> I got a better question for you. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. I always wondered why people never use their strongest attacks first. What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? 
Our reports showed a massive anomaly in the time-space continuum. Timelines jumping left and right, stopping and starting. <laughs> Look, I gave up trying to go back a long time ago. Getting to the surface doesn't really appeal to me anymore either. Maxi! Where's my opponent? What are they playing? <laughs> Metamorph- I got nothing! I'm bricked up! Maybe I should play Almirage so I can like force searches of my cards. Yeah, lightning the bugs. Thanks for the sub, pressured. Give him the pull. We really like when he threw the plague bears and the Wrathgate cinematic. Oh, I love the Wrathgate cinematic. The Phantom Knights of Stained Greaves. Oh, I don't even know what this card does. Oh, okay, I know what that one is. Can't wait for B troopers. Me either. Once B-Troopers hit the game, then life will be good. Sub because you did the Megalovania thing? What are you talking about? I didn't do shit. I know you didn't answer me before, but somewhere in there I can feel it. There's a glimmer of a good person inside of you. The memory of someone who once wanted to do the right thing. Someone who, at another time, might have even been a friend. You could say I'm a little bit of a fan of the, the Megalovanias. Goki Pole. B Troopers plus Insectors. I don't think Insectors can really play with B Troopers very well. If anything, B Troopers work better with the deck I'm playing right now. No! Oh, I'm so glad it lets me cancel that. <laughs> Crawler deck? Never. No one plays crawlers. No cursing? I would never say a curse word. Finally good to see your Twitch stream for the first time. Welcome, Pandora Leo one I'm sorry you had to witness cringe. Let me turn off the spider. Hmm. Oh, I can finally use a pot of avarice. We witness cringe every day. Who who do you watch where you witness cringe every day? Not me, because I'm the anti cringe. Hmm. Let's summon Goki Pole. Activate Monster Gate on Goki Pole. I love your cringe. Oh, my brand of cringe. Oh, okay. Activate Goki Pole. Wish I had another shiny black squadron to add to my hand. But I don't. Maxi can attack, right? It's gonna special summon itself as a level zero monster. 600 attack. 100 attack. Continue the attack. Sure. We've been watching your YouTube. Fun to watch videos. Fun to get to see you live. Why, hello there. Unfortunately, the actual streams are nowhere near as fun as this, the clips. Yeah, Maxi beatdown, exactly. Fusion Destiny. Yes, Retaliating C. <laughs> Send those cards to the graveyard. And also maximum C for a draw of a card. Man, I never get to use this card. It only allows you to activate its hand trap effect if your opponent specifically special summons with a spell card and nothing else. 
Not true, the stream is just as fun. I disagree. All of his cards went into the banished pile. And if he uses Destiny Hero Distrudo, they also go to the banished pile. Oh, that's cool. I gotta say, wasn't expecting a Winged Dragon of Ross Sphere mode. The ultimate C deck. I thought it was mandatory in streams. This is pretty much the ultimate C deck. Okay, well. I could change this card to defense position. Or. I can normal summon insect, ultimate insect level 5. And then I can set three cards and pass. The funny thing is, all three of these cards have graveyard effects. So if he destroys any of them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Amazing play. No cursing? I've never said a curse word. Uh oh, DP is gonna come back. Would you like to activate Super Team Buddy Force? Oh wait, yes, I do actually want to activate that. Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Imagine cursing. I know, right? La cringe. Oh, you just let that resolve. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. You can still destroy Ultimate Insect level 5. And then the target immunity is gone, so they can destroy Metamorphosed Insect Queen. Uh-oh, I might have made a mistake. We love Spider Beatdown. Uh-oh, I'm bricked up. Do I have Shiny Squadron in the grave? I do have Shiny Squadron in the grave. But I at least get a draw with Metal Foes Fusion. Imagine cursing? I know, right? Cringe. Ooh, this is good. I can reset everything. I can reset that, and that, and that, and that, and that. No, wait, not that. And that. Right? No, not that. And that. <gasps> is it Coffee Fico? I noticed a lot of people on YouTube censor their cursing. What happens if they don't? Uh, nothing really. They're not that strict. I'm just sick of DPE's face already. Draws too, I know. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. <laughs> Pumio DPE. Why, hello there, Coffee Fico. Yeah, Coffee Fico. That's how you say it, right? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I'm a bad duelist. I have cards, but I lose all the time. Have you ever tried not losing? It works 100% of the time. Guaranteed. Thanks for the sub, Senpai Yoshi. You risk a veto being said as mature and getting pushed less by the algorithm? Sure, sure, sure. Something like that. Hello, dual logs, the dual logs, dual logs. That's not me. That's the other guy. I go by Hruma Red. Um, do I have anything I want to return to the graveyard? Not yet. Not yet, I do. What is DP going to do with his effect permanently negated? Ooh, I forgot this was an option. Two monsters included in Earth. Do they have any Earth monsters in their grave? A fire... a divine beast card? No, they don't. Hmm... 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 We'll send these two to the grave. I wasn't aware DVE released yet. Is he causing trouble? Nah, he's harmless. Nobody even plays the card. 
Select one card to destroy, activate Absolute King Backjack, then activate Goki Pole to search. Is the music messing up for everyone? The music's fine. Divine Beast Charmer win. That's the only one missing. Ooh, Senpai Yoshi. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Would you like to special summon it? Yeah. Destroy a card? Uh, no. Select a card you wish to return to the top of your deck. What card was that? Oh wait, if this card's destroyed by battle, it's also, it comes back, right? Ooh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. The entire engine is just missing DPE himself. I would love to see some free-to-play stuff from you for the Fusion Festival. Oh, I have a free-to-play deck ready for the Fusion Festival, alright. Just you wait and see. You will be so amazed. You'll be like, whoa, that is the most free-to-play friendly deck I've ever seen in my life. You will literally cry. And I have a lot of graveyard effects. I was trying to not banish any of my graveyard effects. Friendly fire, you say? The Predator Plant loner is pretty based. Evenly matched. Well, that's annoying. Select a card to target. Good enough. Shane Verte on a card won't be allowed for the fusion event? I know, right? I wake up every day cursing the fact that Verte on a card is banned for the fusion event. Godlike top deck. I don't know about that. Continue my wayward son and show the world what a Goki board can enhance this insectoid world. Activate the effect, Jet Black. Oh wait, my deck is reset. <gasps> oh my god, I got lucky as hell right there. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? No. Metamorphosed Insect Queen, nice. Can't use it. <laughs> I can do this though. Hopefully the card I attack into is weak. 1200 defense? God damn it. This is game. When you put an activate a card effect that would destroy a card in the field, negate the effect, and summon a level 3 <laughs> dark monster from your deck or graveyard. <laughs> oh my god. Well, they had the out. Yeah, they sure did. Then they made a legit DPE loner deck, did they? Well, that sounds fun. I haven't played the event yet. I'll have to play it after this. This is the best two or three, right? Yep. Why no Axis Code? Uh, I forgot about Axis Code. I could have went into Axis Code. Anime Duel if I ever saw one. Man, I had like the worst hand in the beginning. He's popping off. Yeah, he's popping off now. Break sword. Say goodbye to Nightmare Unicorn. 
Yes, I'd like to get back my lost wins since he banished my other one with an evenly mashed out of nowhere. Then I drew into my other garnet. He's gonna destroy that? My lost wind, no! Hmm, okay. A rank four. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Gotcha. Well, GG, that's not enough damage for a game. I have 6,700 life points. That gives me another turn to come back. Phantom Knight lore accurate deck. Oh, is that what it is? Phantom Knight's rank up magic launch. Okay. I don't think you can rank him to anything good, right? Dark Rebellion. Oh, this card doesn't negate, right? Negate the activation. If you destroy the card, then you can special summon 1xe's monster from your graveyard. Super Team Body Force would be good if I had any monsters. Okay, well... You got me, Dark Geed. Time for game number two. Your opponent has left the table. Why? No, he's back. So he's gonna climb the ladder to do that. Uh, I'm doing a point by redemption right now. I thought it was only one game. Mm, wait, how do you have so many points from watching the stream and don't know it's a best two out of three? I mean, to be fair, people don't really redeem it very often, but they don't not redeem it either. The last rebel. Rig the game so we can get more points. Who did you guys bet on? You better bet on me. Because I'm going to win with my um, ultimate insect level 7 deck. I'm an insect believer. I mean, with this hand, I forgot to add, I need to add Almirage. Someone remind me to add Almirage to this when I'm outside of this. I can't add any cards when we're doing the best two out of three because that's cheating. I bet on you for a bigger payout. Mm. Oh wait, because people don't bet on me? What the hell, why don't you guys bet on me? Don't you guys know I'm a professional Yu-Gi-Oh gamer? It's lore accurate Phantom Knights. I can respect that. I always brick against you. <laughs> yeah, whenever I play against other streamers, I brick all the time too. It's my fifth favorite spider VTuber who also reviews custom cards. I'm not a VTuber though. I'm just actually a spider, okay? Get that straight. <laughs> Professional Yu-Gi-Oh gamer? Yeah! Other streamers? Duologs has friends? No, I don't have any friends. Are you telling me you're not a VTuber? Yeah! Although, if anyone calls me a VTuber in chat, I try to ignore their message. No more VTuber tagging. It's because I'm not a VTuber! Gossip Shadow? That's not very lore-friendly. I'll be your friend? Well, the reason I don't have any friends is because I don't want any. Like, when you have friends, that means you have to, like, actually talk to them and maintain relationships and bleh. 
I'd rather just chill and do my own thing, you know? I'm just chillaxing, relaxing all cool. Sometimes playing some b-ball around the school. And if a couple of guys come up to me and they're up to no good and they start trouble in the neighborhood, I don't do anything about it. Rongo incoming. Wait, how did he manage to get this card destroyed? They both have the same attack on the field? Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it's Rongo. So with Rongo Miniat, I just need to stall out for two turns. Since it's not a six material Rongo Miniad. Hmm, not good enough. I, I don't really have stall in this deck. <laughs> At least he can't pop all my cards this turn. <laughs> no, I'm losing all my channel points. Damn, imagine pulling out Rongil in a friendly duel. Yeah, kind of cringe. Ooh. Thanks for the maxi. <laughs> Look cringe. Your opponent is about to end his or her turn. And one more turn, I get to summon monsters. Ballista Squad. He's still immune to cards, right? Um, I'll set this. And then I still can't summon anything, so I'll just wait. I think I'm better off just keeping Maxi. He loses one more material, which means I can now summon monsters. But he's still immune to card effects while he has three materials. The battle phase, you're not gonna summon anything? You're not gonna push for game? Imagine stalling out Rongo. Surprise he isn't one yet. Zeus? <gasps> okay, I wasn't expecting a Zeus. Four material Zeus to clear my field of cards. Um, okay. Well, I can destroy Zeus, but I don't have the card currently that allows me to do it. Zeus is here. I do have cards that can allow me to clear Zeus. Hmm. Only two cards in the grave. There's no way he's going to be scared of my little maximum C. Come on, get me some monsters in the grave. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Immediately, I go directly into this, into this dude. Um, well, I can do this. Link Spider, come on, use it now. Come on, please, use it. Use it! Use Divine Arsenal! I'm begging you! I need one more monster in the grave because I whiffed like crazy on that monster gate. GG, lore accurate Link Spider. Phantom Knight's Wing. That's not the card I targeted. Oh! <gasps> doing it. <laughs> That's right, put Link Spider in the grave. Thank you. That means I can finally use Pot of Avarice. This gives me an opportunity to draw something that might let me come back. <laughs> That's not half bad. Come on, give me something good. Ooh. Bad. 
That's not good. <laughs> I needed something good, not Max C. Well, as long as he doesn't summon a whole bunch of monsters in one turn, I I have defense points to eat one attack. Oh no, Phantom Knight's wings, special summons from the grave. Max is one of the best cards of the game. It is. My god, your luck sucks. It, yeah, I, I was kind of relying on luck for this one. Hey, I, I survived two turns of Rongo Minion. Because my opponent refused to summon anything else, so I couldn't actually use my Maxi to any effect. Gossip to refuel Zeus. Does it work on Zeus? I'm working and I see Max C pass. <gasps> oh no, knife is here. Everybody, stop having fun. In 25Ks, you play with him whatever you want. Bring Gate Guardian for all we care. Yeah, if you pay for the redeem, you can play whatever you want. I don't care. Are we having fun today? We were having fun. I was literally lurking the whole stream. Oh, I can't believe I lost my ultimate insect deck. Darn. Oh well. GG. Let me play my fusion deck once. Duel. How come I won't let me duel with my deck? Oh, the fusion event hasn't started yet. It doesn't start until the 11th. Here I thought the fusion event was ready this whole time. Almirage. There, one Almirage, and then I shall remove Wern Rinda. One of these days I will properly bring out Ultimate Insect level seven. And those days will be today. Hmm, I don't think I have enough trap cards for Absolute King Blackjack. What are some other good graveyard effects? Hmm, block dragon? <laughs> block dragon would probably work. <laughs> Better than snow even, oh my god. Why do you have union carrier? Because it allows me to equip one of my, uh, my things. So that I can use Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. It's actually like one of the better cards in the deck. Um, hmm. I'm just looking through my list of cards that could be potential graveyard effects. Oh. Oh my goodness. You guys will never believe. Plague Spider Zombie. You'll never believe what I just discovered. This is the holy grail of inclusions. This allows me to run. Let me show you this card over here. You guys have to see this synchro insect type monster. Underground Arachnid. Once per turn, you can select one face up monster your opponent controls and equip it to this card. If this card would be destroyed by battle, you can destroy the equipped monster instead. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spells and traps to enter the damage step. Requires one dark tuner plus one non-tuner insect type monster. It is level six. My dudes are all level four. Some of them are anyway. And this is a level two dark tuner that special summons itself from the graveyard. This is, this is a match made in heaven. Let's add Underground Arachnid. Ooh, should I add this card too? If this card Synchro Summoned, using Synchro Monster, using as a material, can make a second attack. Ooh, yeah, that works too. Uh, one Insect Non-Tuner. This card Special Summoning, banish all Insect Monsters from Graveyard, all Monsters Point of Controls. This card attacks the Dentist's Monster, and for in Battle Damage, if the Synchro Summon card is in control, destroy bots uh, is destroyed by an opponent's card. Special Summon 3, real level 11 or lower Insect type monsters from your Graveyard. Sure, why not? 
That man, thanks for the gifted sub. You should put DPE in this deck, maybe? No. Uh, you can inflict damage to your opponent. Ooh, this is another level 6 tuner. This card attacks the opponent's monster with higher attack. You can have this attack during the damage step. Ooh, those are all garbage. Let me just generate one underground arachnid. Let me remove a Picoflina, a Cerberus, and... I don't think I've brought out Borosaur Dragon once yet. Ultimate Insect. I got it this time. You guys all think this deck isn't going to work, but just wait until you see this. It says select so it doesn't target. It does target. It's just an old card. Unfortunately. Why can't I join the room? It's on a viewer duel. That was a channel point redeem. Yeah, that was a channel point redeem. You earned that for defeating the not VTuber logs. <laughs> oh, to <the> Dark Dibble. <laughs> Reactor Slime, activate. I probably should wait for him to use the effect that summons tokens first. <gasps> Immediately end of the turn. No hesitations at all. This man right here. He's definitely uh, an experienced veteran at this game. Ooh. Ooh, look at all these graveyard effects I'm getting in the grave. The Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Activate Retaliating C. We'll add Maxi to my... <laughs> What's the meme? I got another. Goki Pole. I'm pretty sure he can use its effect to tribute itself in order to grab that one card from the deck. Maxi challenge every turn. Yeah, I can just search out Maxi in this deck. Continue the attack? Yes. Well, you love your videos. They're addicting both WoW and Yu Gi Oh! Good to hear. Maxi. I can special summon immediately. And then draw a card. Metal Reflect Slime. Continue the attack? No. But I will use Monster Gate again. Ooh, Plague Spider Zombie. Activate Gookie Pole. Shiny Black Squadron C. Special Summon it from your hand. Do not destroy Underground Arachnid. What happens if I steal a trap monster? I don't think anything happens. Pretty sure I just get equipped. Then, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution for Metamorphosed Insect Queen! Oh my god, I'm gaming. Wait. Oh no, I removed the other copy! <gasps> I'm only running one copy, I forgot about that. No! I fucked up! I mean, I fricked up. Oh, goodness gracious. I, I could have reset it, I just didn't know any better. <laughs> Plague spreader zombie. Uh. L plus ratio plus you forgot. Shut up. Just shut up, okay? I'm mourning. Will I win this duel? Yes. I got this. Please don't destroy my attack position monsters. Oh, thank god. Plague Spider is not once per turn? It's not, but he gets banished. I only brought out Plague Spider so that I have tribute material for my Ballista Squad. Monster Reborn? Oh, come on. Imagine playing a 60 card deck with Grass and Zombie and Eldritch. Sounds fun. Buying an account on Duologs is better than buying gems in the actual game. What do you think? 
on Master Duel? Buying an account on Master Duel? I wouldn't suggest buying accounts for Master Duel. That sounds pretty cringe. He's looking through all my cards in the graveyard. The underground arachnid. If he was smart. Remember when they called Reborn the monster? I don't remember. You got this, I believe in you. Don't believe in me. I'm a clown. Don't you see the clown makeup? I miss Monster Reborn. You can still play Monster Reborn. What do I have? I can do this to reset his card. <laughs> Clowns are a myth. I can't believe... Insect Queen, you have abandoned me. You have betrayed. Um, are there any other good graveyard effects? There's breakthrough skill. That's pretty good. So is lost wind. So is skill prisoner to an extent. So is titano cider. Titano cider is not that good. Kaiju slumber, fusion substitute. Hmm. I think I'm good on graveyard effects. If I want more, I can just play more Cocoons of Ultra Evolution, because that's pretty good for this deck. My... My Insect Queen, how could you? Oh wait, there's another card I could play. Ice Dragon Prison would work? Uh, it's not a graveyard effect. It's a good card, sure. Karma for not running two of them? You turned her against me? Yeah, I can't believe they, they stole my cards and then used them against me. Oh, it's midnight already? Uh, yeah, I'll do one more. This will be the last one. I have to bring out ultimate insect level set. I mean, I brought them out before. I just didn't bring them out properly. I was so close. Winning you'll gain a rank. Oh, I gotta make sure to win so that they don't gain a rank. It's 3 a.m. Imagine staying up to 3 a.m. Last one for sure. Yeah, last one that I can go lie down because my brain is fried. Um. <laughs> you know, this hand would be really good if I was playing the Hockey Fibrax engine, but I'm not. <laughs> Maybe... No, I can't add Halky Fibrax combos with the way I'm running my deck. Synchro Overtake. Reveal one Synchro monster in your extra deck. I don't want to sit through Synchron plays. I'll try one more. The thing is, if I sat through the Synchron plays, then I would have just lost anyway and wasted a whole bunch of time. In case you were wondering why I skedaddled. Much better starting hand. He's just trying to help these guys rank up. Exactly. You let the guy rank up? I mean, he's gonna rank up anyway. Damn, immediately into Maxi. Whoa. Fine by me. I'll just attack with Goki Pole. 
And then I'll set Metaphos Fusion on the field since apparently I draw it in my hand every time. Over here, and then over here. I don't fear imperm columns. A oh, raw maxi, what a chad. Hey, maybe he has like a really banger hand if he just goes third. Fusion Gate King Queen Long. Kirin. Uh oh, it's virtual worlds. Uh, Shen Shen might be bad. So, might true king of all calamities, but I also do have a Lost Winds face down, which is pretty good. There goes my points. Hopefully, they will. Virtual Worlds can't really pop face down cards unless they do. And I do have a negate. It's not like I'm completely ham boned here, you know. All I have to do is just wait for Shen Shen or the very fun dragon. <gasps> They're out of cards. All they have is a level 9 Synchron monster, and that's it. World Gate. Special Sun, but they don't have any cards in their hand. Oh, no, that increases its level. So now they have two cards banished, which means they have another Chuche live if they have one face down. Super fun times ahead? Exactly. What are they going to do? Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan? Or Virtual World Kirin Lili? Maybe Math Mech? Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Ooh. Oh, they went to Fan Fan. Thank God. <laughs> Fan Fan's garbage. It's going to detach two materials to send a card to the grave. Why? Why Fan Fan? And it's just going to recover one of its cards in the grave? Not if I have anything to say about that. Lost Winds, activate. Negate his effects permanently. His effects are going to be negated so hard. He's going to be like, whoa, I can't even go into Zeus because I only have one material. Virtual World Phoenix, a fan fan. Is Amir, does the game sound sound weird? Yes. Not if they run Gaia. Oh my god. They have the Gaia. <laughs> well, they're going to be forced to use it with the cards on the field already. Otherwise, they're just going to get lost wins if they try to use a two material Zeus. Also, I can just pop the card if he destroys Goki Pole and I go into Shiny Squadron. I got nothing to worry about. This is an easy W, boys and girls. Shiny Squadron, add to my hand. Special summon it. It's one of the few effects that activates during the damage step and summons cards during the damage step. And you can't do anything about this because it's during the damage step. <gasps> I bet you thought you were going to go into a Zeus, but it was me, Shiny Black Sea Squadron. And then I can go into... Another card. Ooh, Galaxy Cyclone. That's actually really good against Virtual Worlds. Well, imagine speaking too soon. Samir, does a dual lock sound weird? I shouldn't. Get jabated. Oh, it was just a cross out. I'm kind of scared, but only kind of. So I'm going to go into a monster gate with Plague Spreader Zombie. Because I can just bring him back. Ooh, Lost Win the Grave. That's good. Max C, that's bad. That's terrible. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, freaking heck. Does he have any earth monsters in the grave that I can summon? Oh, he does. 
Well, that's convenient. Um, I can go into the Earth Charmer, but I'll lose damage if I do that now. So I'll just go for some damage first. Maxi every time, never punished. Yeah, I keep getting Maxi off of that monster gate. It's really annoying. Go into the Charmer. I will go into the Charmer, just you watch. One, two. And then I'll pull that card from the grave. What do they have? Oh, they have multiple. Oh, I can get... They have a max C? Oh, or I can just pull this one. Yay, I have a virtual world card. Which means now I can go into Palpatine, but that won't do anything because I don't have any insects. I can go into Union character, I can go into Nightmare Unicorn, or I can go into Plague Spider Zombie for a level 8 monster. Maxi is the evilest of the life forms. <gasps> I can go into a Axis Code Talker instead, actually. I can go into IP Masquerina first to make it immune to destruction effects. No, I can go into Nightmare Unicorn first to give it a whole bunch of attack. No, I'll go into IP Masquerina. A lot of people I'm playing today have, uh... A lot of Earth monsters in their grave. Activate Access Code Talker. Yeah, we'll choose Earth Charmer. For 2,000 boost, it's not 5,000, but that's still pretty good. IP Masquerina. To destroy this face down card over here. Oh, it's just another Quinglong. And then access code number two. For the other Quinglong, now they can't do anything. Virtual Worlds need at least two cards to do all of their plays. They're basically ham bone at this point, unless they drew into a Pot of Desires. You only get a destruction and protection off of IP effects? Okay, what do you mean? Emergency teleport? Was well, someone asking in chat why I went into IP? Because I have the destruction protection. <gasps> Are they actually popping off right now? No fun for VWs. Heck no, I still have my garnet, my uh, my bait in the back row, which they didn't destroy yet. You just hard summon access, not using IP's effect for the next turn? That doesn't matter, right? A Link monster uses this card as material cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I'm pretty sure he's immune. Is there a way to check what influences he has? It still gives protection. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it still has protection. No cursing? I've never said a curse word before. I've used for Avermax and Sulfur Quartz? Yeah, so have I. I also have a form of disruption. Charge Warrior? Are you trying to draw cards on me over here? My Hime Nyan Nyan that allows them to reset one card. This allows them to draw one card from their deck. Lost Winds allows me to reset a card. And then Lost Winds over here, number two, allows me to negate this card. To ruin any hope of chance they have of trying to come back from this. Oh, you were fine. I thought you needed the effect. I don't run IP much. Oh, I thought you were responding to someone else. Nope, my Axis Code Talker is immune to destruction effects. He's basically unbeatable. Poor guy's getting bullied. I know, he's just playing a poor VW deck. Wow, we didn't even get to see Shen Shen. I guess the ultimate insects are just too strong. Man, look how few insects started. You should have seen this deck at the beginning of the the night. It was it had many more insects than this. Okay, so who's streaming right now? 
Whoa, lots of people. Well, I mean, there was lots of people. Ooh, lots of people. There's not lots of people anymore. Let's see what these people are doing. Fast, reliable. Yes, play ads for me. Thank you very much. Hmm, hmm. Stream doesn't end until I hit Diamond 1. Whoa! <gasps> I wonder if he'll hit Diamond 1. Is the Dual Logs a Dual Logs a VTuber? Nope. Night Dual Logs, thanks for the stream. Yeah, see you later. How dare they play ads for the Lord of the Dual Logs? I know, right? Imagine not having Twitch Prime. Or what is it? Twitch Prime used to re remove the ads. In the before times. Remember that, everyone? Boy, I am so tired. You guys have no idea. I work too much on Mondays. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.